Shalom. I want to start off giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahusha, Ba'asham, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the sincere Akim, uh, laboring and pushing the word of the Lord across the, the globe in all truth and sincerity, okay? Uh, this is Ezekiel 9 and 4. Ezekiel 9 and 4 says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay? So, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, all right? Uh, speaking about the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that make up the nation of Israel, okay? Uh, whom are the Lord's people, okay? Um, and it said, put a mark upon the foreheads of the men, all right? So, real quick, uh, let's look up the word mark, because... We go into uh, Revelation 13 uh, often, uh, and, and through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, from the uh, apostles on down, you know, we were given the understanding of what that mark in Revelation 13 is talking about, which is the RFID chip, the mark of the beast. So in this scripture, all right, Ezekiel 9 and 4, it's speaking about something different, all right? So as always, um, uh, as how we were taught to look up words, man. Okay, to get proper understanding. So, uh, uh, what I'm looking for, Mark. Okay. Page eighty-four twenty. Tav. Tav. Uh. Right, in the Hebrew, the word is uh, thawak, all right, uh, which means to be exempt from judgment, okay? All right, so going back to Ezekiel 9 and 4, it says, And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark or an exemption from judgment, okay, upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, okay? And uh, this is, you know, uh, what's going to happen, man. You know, uh, soon, you know, the, the Lord is getting ready to... Uh, come back, okay, Yahweh Shah, our Lord and Savior, is on his way back, okay, and he's gonna deliver uh, uh, those men that have that exemption, man, or, you know, or they won't take, uh, I should say, won't partake of the judgment that is coming towards uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay, starting with y'all, man, because I'm going to read it, you know. Uh, you know, the Lord's going to, uh, as the scriptures I'm going to get, uh, where it says, start with his sanctuary, all right, that's us, all right, Israel, man, you Israelites, man, okay. Uh, right, so put a mark on the men or that exemption, okay, from that judgment, Upon those that sign and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, because we are in uh, the daughter. Uh, well, how the scriptures say, uh, uh, Babylon the Great, man. Okay, me in America, all right. The, the 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 main place on the face of the earth uh, of Esau's, you know, rule, man, his kingdom, man. Okay. The uh, place that's laden with wickedness, man. Full of abominations, man. Okay. 
uh, you know, so those that um, sincerely seek Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, man, and, and all righteousness, man, we seeking for uh, a, a, a kingdom of righteousness, man, and not to be amongst this wickedness anymore, man. You see, sign and crying, man, unto the Lord, man, crying out, sending the prayers unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, you know. It is not a day that goes by, you know what I'm saying, that, that you know, something, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, it, uh, bothers, your, bothers your spirit, man, being in this being in this place, man, okay? You know, the list goes on of, you know, how this place is set up and ran, man, okay? You got, uh, you know, homosexuality, you know what I'm saying, transgenderism. You know, uh, kids being taught at a younger age to uh, pick and choose what, what gender they want to be, man. Being indoctrinated, you know what I'm saying, in wickedness, man, from these these these, these false idols and gods, these, these so-called holidays, all right, which uh, a lot of them go back to, uh, to old Greek and, and Roman customs. And even far as back as uh, ancient Babylon, Babylonian customs, man. You see, uh, from from the uh, the death that this man is uh, Esau, the so-called white man, is spreading. You know, not only through here but throughout the earth, man. You see, the wicked that I rule, okay. Uh, Got the world in a, in a state of chaos, man. All right? So we sign and crying until Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shot, man. You know? Because we know that this is not our rest, man. All right? So, real quick, once again, Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark or exemption from the judgment upon the foreheads of the men that side and they cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And he and to the others he said, In mine hearing. Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women but Come not near any man upon whom is the mark or that exemption. Okay. So this is the time uh, that we 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 approaching, man. The Lord is, is is getting ready to come back and unleash His judgment, man. You see, two thirds of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, that won't get right on this side is going to be put to death, man. You see, it said, uh, spare not, let not your, you know, it said, let not your eyes spare, neither have you pity, man. So when that command, so like when that command goes out, all right, to, uh, to the angels, you see, uh, you know, they, they follow the orders of the most high power, man. They don't, they don't, uh sit there and try to debate or reason with the Lord. Or oh, they innocent or they just kids or they elderly. You know what I'm saying? No, man. You see? They gonna receive that judgment, man. You know? The, the Lord called out and reached out, sent his servants to prophets daily, man. Warning them, blowing the trumpet. Okay? But they, uh, you know, wanted to continue on to uh, and partake of the ways of this world, man. The ways of Babylon, man. You know, they're not signing crime. Okay? They are signing crime. <laughs> Who they crying to? Esau. So-called white man. Trump. <laughs> you know, for them stimulus checks. You see? They don't want this place to end. You know what I'm saying? Okay? It says, slay utterly old and young. Both maids and little children, and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And just to say this real quick, 
go back in the history, man. You've seen the works of the Most High Power, man. He's not to be played with. Okay, this is nothing new. Okay, you you talking about a power that destroyed uh, the whole earth, man, and saved eight souls, man. You see? Okay. All right. It says, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin in my sanctuary. Okay. That's the key thing, man. Begin in my sanctuary, man. Once again, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Okay. You know, yes, the Lord is going to destroy the heathens, the, uh, the other nations, you know, but the point I'm, I'm hitting on is toward our people, man. Because we are uh, in the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? Which is also in the scriptures, man. Uh, as a time that was never before seen upon the face of the earth. It's going to be very terrible times, man. And we are in the beginning stages of that. Okay? You see? It says, um, right, begin in my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Okay, right. So, the uh, I want to say it's in Amos. It says, "My people, I could be wrong, but it's like you, the scripture says that my people shall die by the, the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, man." Okay, so those are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that refuse to take heed, all right, follow the ways of y'all, Basham, y'all All right, uh, we're gonna be put to death on this side, man. Okay. And, uh, right, as we seeing, you know, uproars of the people, you know, uh, seeing, you know, lockdowns, shutdowns, uh, you see, um, seeing our people out here bugged out, you know what I mean, losing their mind, you know, this is a low, this is just the tip of the iceberg, man, all right, it's going to get uh, ten times worse, man. You see, but the Lord is not playing, man. Okay. So, uh, that's pretty much the point, man. Um, I'm in it on uh, in it there, man. Uh, hopefully this was edifying. Once again, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahusha, Ba'asham Rachakodash, the Barnes, to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopefully elect. Shalom.